Welcome back to another video by Chosen Infinity. Now, what I want to talk about is these images and photos captured by people in the past of these ghostly projections of deceased people. Now, what these images are and where they come from is from a collection by Edward Bateman and it is called Science Rends the Veil. An index of the conquest of science over the question of the existence of discarnate spirits and life beyond the grave. I want to explore this website that talks about this mysterious photo collection and I'll be sure to link it down in the description as well. Towards the end of the video I'm going to show you like a slideshow of you know the various photos within this collection so make sure you stick to the end for that to begin with just looking at these photos it really is something else like out of this world of these ghostly figure projections of some sort and with these you know devices machines there isn't very much information on the website but i won't go through everything so i'll just go through the small details important things as we go along so here, Edward Bateman, it's a follow-up of his Mechanical Bride of the Uncanny. These images popped up because of a thing in the 19th century that was very popular, something called spiritualism, which was a practice with a medium with capabilities of communication with discarnate and deceased human spirits, and this was very popular because after the American Civil War, many people wanted to obviously, you know, communicate with the unseen world, so to speak. Just going through all these images. Here it talks about the images in the collection show the use of magnetism, electricity, photography, chemical substances and steam. And what's more interesting is that here it also states that there are documents dating from this time that describes exotic and possibly fictional material such as magnetic mercury, etheric vapours and resins and ectoplasmic soils which is not known but if what these documenting are real then this is definitely something to consider about and to think about what's being hid from you know what we know because if these images are real as many of these inventors and people in the images are claiming it to be i have found a presentation by the artist himself edward bateman talking about this these images and is this you know something to question about with you know antique science or special technology for arts so here's the video so going back to another hot technology of its day that tells us the truth, photographs don't lie. This was spirit photography from about the 1860s. A man named Mumler made the first spirit photograph at that time. And because this was following the American Civil War, people looked to technology to let them know about the existence of their, their departed loved ones. Uh, this was very controversial even in stay. There were show trials, P.T. Barnum testifying against Mumler in this trial. Other people, including notable, you know, well-respected people, lawyers and judges, swearing that these spirit photographs truly represented their departed loved ones. In fact, Mumler was acquitted in this trial, although his, you know, his business was essentially ruined. But people were always trying to find some way to get around the unreliable or the unreliability of the human witness. So this, this technology relied a medium, you know, a human person to raise ghosts of the dead. So I imagine people also looking for new technologies to allow them to basically document that there is life after death. So in this series, which was basically just completed in this past year, I have these inventors, the devices they made, the technologies they use, and these are all 3D modeled, these devices, and the dead that they were able to make manifest. So there's a number of technologies, everything from electricity to sound, 
in order to have some aspect of the dead to bring back. This was using wax cylinders, so it's a sound-based piece. And I have some of the physical examples of these I can show you later. I'm not sure what technology this was, but one of the things I really get a kick out of is sometimes seeing the, the, the fine details to see up close. So I assume that this was the figure's father since they both have mustaches in this. <laughs> and this is one of, the, you know, one of the last ones I'll show you in this series, which I think is kind of interesting because this truly may be a picture of the dead. Uh, it was not uncommon to have post-mortem photography. In fact, there were ads that said, as soon as your loved one dies, Call the photographer even before the undertaker so you can have the most naturalistic, realistic portrait possible. I'm not sure if this is one or not, because it's pretty common to see supports and stands to help people stay still at this time. But this gentleman's legs don't really seem to be supporting his weight. Uh, and if you go closer in it, his eyes are going in opposite directions. And, and you may recognize this ghostly arm that's there. The thing that I think is cool is, you know, the camera really does let us see the dead once again, not as, you know, pictures of ghosts, but as, as documenta documents of people that we've loved and cared about. It really is a pretty magic technology.